What's going on there guys? Good evening. It's the Earthmaster here on this uh, Tuesday evening, July 5th, 2022 date. Uh, it's about 9.20 p.m. California time. Just going to do a real quick update here on activity ramping up around certain areas of the globe today. Seeing quite a bit of movement off the coast here of Japan and also the Andaman Sea area southward into the Java Trench all showing quite a bit of activity today as well. The latest quake, a 3.3 earthquake into, uh, looks like just off the coast of, uh, well, looks like Costa Rica area. Let's go ahead and see exactly where this earthquake uh, struck at. 3.3 uh, near the coast of Nicaragua. I was off a little bit. Let's go ahead and uh, pop this up so you guys can see what I'm seeing. There you go. 3.3 within the last hour. 27 kilometer depth there for that earthquake reported by the EMSC models. The latest map here on the USGS side, looking at, uh, as I mentioned, quite a bit of activity ramping up here along the Java Trench north into the Andaman Sea area. Uh, looks like some activity continues in this area where we've seen quite a bit of swarming here over the last couple days. Still seeing quite a few fours in there, including some fives. I still think this is kind of pointing to something much larger. Uh, looking at the seven day a uh, tally here of 29 earthquakes and I'm sure there's a lot more considering this is only uh, probably about 4.5 and above or 4.0 and above uh, for this area from the USGS so still uh, a good chance of possibly seeing something much larger in this area considering all the activity uh, we've been looking up looking at up and down the board here uh, including around the Java Trench uh, near the uh, Sumatra area had a 4.7 at 64 kilometers. This one occurring this afternoon time frame and some activity back building here along the uh, portion of the southern part of the Philippine plate into the Indonesia islands area. All shown quite a few fours. Uh, one other area that we noted today with uh, some sizable increase is right around the Japan area. They did see a 5.3 this afternoon just off the coast of Japan, east coast of Japan. Uh, down there at about 59 kilometers into the Japan Trench. Also a pair of earthquakes along uh, this area here, just off the Philippine Plate. A couple shallow earthquakes here, 4.8 and a 4.9 in this area. Uh, what, just talking about Japan, we get another earthquake coming in right now. Kind of crazy uh, from the USGS there, another 4.6. Looks like uh, still into the Japan Trench, but uh, about 51 kilometers down in there. Still, like I mentioned, just quite a bit of uh, activity ramping up in this region today. Uh, down here in the south, not a whole lot here along the Pacific Plate. Uh, the Kermadec Trench and the Tonga Trench areas, not a whole lot of activity today. Only a 4.7 and a 4.5. Those from earlier this morning. Uh, let's see what we've got for the big island of Hawaii. Looks like um, not a whole lot going on there either. Out there in the uh, beautiful Pacific Ocean. Looks like some movement around Pahala, typical area of swarming. One earthquake from last night in the Lohi Seamount area. Aside from that, things just kind of a typical day out there in the beautiful state of Hawaii. Up here in Alaska, things kind of tapered off a little bit over the past couple days. We've noted a uh, couple unusual quakes up here north around the Bering Sea and uh, some sizable deep earthquake activity here in the Four Range. But over the last hour, not, not a whole lot lighting up here in red circles. West Coast movement, about the same. Seems like when things are calm over here along this area of the Pacific Plate, things get cooking and rocking and rolling over here along the western portion of the Pacific Plate. So I've always seen that happen. It's just that teeter-totter effect. Uh, movement throughout California. No major sizable swarms. Looks like most of the activity is in its typical spots around the Ridgecrest area. Of course, we're coming up on... Uh, uh, 2019 earthquakes, right? Remember the uh, July 4th, July 5th sequence? Those are still aftershocks from those earthquakes. Let's truck back there on that day. Those days, I should say. Uh, let's see, for Southern Cal, not a whole lot of movement. Still seeing some swarming out here. Uh, looks like it has died off around the Mexico border, it's west of Mexicali. Uh, we've been watching a little swarm of activity there uh, for the past couple days. The rest of the states, pretty spotty. Not a whole lot going on throughout the rest of the country. There's some movement out here in the uh, Puerto Rico area, 3.5, the latest quake at 12 kilometers. South America's noted 
Only a couple earthquakes here. Most of it from earlier this morning. We did have one this afternoon, a 4.4 uh, near the Santiano, Santiano, San, San, San Antonio de los Cobres, Argentina. See if I can spit that out right. It's a little late. I'm tired. I haven't been sleeping too well. I'm not for sure why. Past couple nights it's just been odd. Um, let's see here. South Sandwich Islands. This one here from this morning, 5.0. Um, yeah, so let's see what else we got here. The trimmer map tonight, not that big of a deal. Looks like about 62 epicenters of trimmer into the southern end of the Cascadia. Let's see what we got for uh, volcano activity around the region. Everything looks about the same, folks. No major uh, changes going on or noted across any of the volcanoes across the states here. Kilauea still remains on a watch level. Of course, that's almost continuous. It's been ongoing for quite a while uh, for the uh, continued activity there at the Kilauea crater, the volcano. See what we got for uh, earthquake activity. Past 48 hours of earthquake activity around Kilauea look uh, very minimal. Not a whole lot going on there across that recorded seismograph station. So like, I, like we noted there on the map, things just kind of looking pretty pretty dull currently there around the Hawaii area. Uh, let's see what we got here. Just going to keep this a short one, folks. Uh, we'll do a space weather thing real quick. And um, I think we're expecting uh, possibly a um, G1 class storm coming up here. Looks like in the uh, UTC time of 6 to 12 on the 6 and currently we are in uh looks like 0425 on the 6 so we got a couple more hours before we could see things ramp up into the uh, kp index of five which would be giving us a uh, g1 class storm i hear people lighting off fireworks again tonight of course uh it seems like that happens every every year I got my dog here. He's uh, kind of inside, keeping him safe. He's not very happy with the fireworks. Uh, let's see what we got. Far side sunspot number 3053 is growing like crazy. I uh, see this over here on the uh, eastern limb, 3053. Got 3052 popping up off there a little bit as well, but this one right here is growing drastically. And it looks like it's got some trailing behind it as well. That's going to be a spot to watch for some potential flaring in the uh, days ahead. A new little sunspot here as well kind of developing. So we are entering, of course, into the solar maximum here in a couple years. And, um, you know, we expect these type of events to ramp up. Some of these could be, uh, you know, some, some bad ones for Earth. If we get, uh, you know, that kill shot, uh, pretty strong flare and CME but we'll make it through it no doubt we're just super dependent on everything electronics right everything we do is revolved around electronics but uh, either way i'm pretty excited for the uh, solar maximum i'm hoping it's uh, a good one that's i'm hoping so all right guys uh, let's see what else i think that's about it uh, again don't forget to join the uh, giveaway for the seventy-five thousand subscriber drawing which will be held here uh, in less than two weeks Got quite a few uh, responses on the uh, video already. Just got to follow the information in the video and you will be entered into the uh, drawing. All right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe. Yellowstone, not, not a whole lot going on here. Going to skip past this because there's really nothing to cover there at Yellowstone National Park. Take care, guys. We will chat you a little bit later on. Stay safe.